Charlie Cross, there's Haitley. It's a magnificent goal for Rangers. Fires in the cross, Haitley's in there, and the ball's in the back of the net. That's McCoy, he's through the acrobatic game. Honoured, to be honest, and uh, of course I, you know, I knew of Walter. Um, you know, he's iconic. I looked at the history, um, the iconic photos of him, which the family supplied as well. Quite an easy decision, you know, because it's a great pose. There's there's movement to it, meaning the flow of the the suit as you walk round, you know, 360 degrees around the around the statue. There's there's something going on everywhere. Obviously, he's a well-loved man in Glasgow. And, uh, it, you know, it would be done right. Uh, it'd be a special day. He, for the club, is the greatest Rangers manager of the modern era. Uh, and for us to unveil that statue there on uh, Edmiston Drive, overlooking the, the main stand, it feels really poignant. It feels really appropriate that, that we'll be able to unveil the statue in front of supporters with all of the Smith family there. As a family, we're Incredibly grateful, uh, it's a, such a huge honour um, for my dad to get this statue uh, and as I say we're, we're thankful and, and very grateful of course. We looked through a number of images during that period and the one we decided on was the one from my dad's uh, last game as manager at Ibrox against Dungeon United. The ovation he got from the fans that night was incredible and it was a really special moment for us all. You speak about legendary figures at, at, at Rangers, Walter Smith deserves to be up there with every single one of them for the contribution that he made to Rangers, first as an assistant manager and then over those two periods of his uh, as a manager. Very important, very deserving. Uh, you, you used to have to walk about the main stand or the trophy room or the museum to know that the, the club honours its heroes very well, but something more public, something more visible Something that can be uh, seen and visited um, very publicly is absolutely appropriate and important. I think if anybody deserves a statue at this club is Walter Smith. I think his legacy at the club's probably done as um, uh, the greatest Rangers manager that, um, that's been, and uh, a statue would be a fitting uh, legacy to, uh, to his dedication uh, working for the club. He gave many, many years to this football club. Um, he loved the club, he, he was honest, he was genuine, and he's made me a better person. I think he, he well deserves it. Also, all the people that I met, they, they are so, so positive about him and how he was as a person and, and as a manager. So I think it's a, it's a really big thing. And I think it's a, re, it's a thing that all his family can be proud of, to have something like that. Walter Smith uh, is one of kind of man that uh, rarely you meet in your life, especially in, uh, in our sport. It made me taking this unbelievable decision against everything and everybody. Uh, the fact that uh, I had right on my hands the, another contract with Man United that says enough how 
good was straight from the beginning, our first impression with Walter Smith. His past, his life says enough how, what kind of man he was. Obviously he knew the game tactically, but I think the biggest thing is he made the dressing room individually, players wanting to play for him. Uh, man management, I would say. Uh, he was like a father figure. He was a very humble guy, as most, most people know, but uh, I think he would uh, he'd be very proud, even though it was an unbelievable gesture from the club to, uh, to give him this, uh, this statue and this honour. Before he was a footballer or a manager, he was a Rangers supporter first and foremost, and he came here and uh, watched the games as a kid, especially in that stand was his dad and his, his grandpa. So I think yeah, if, if you'd said to him that in the future there'd be a statue here for his achievements at the club, I don't think he'd believe you and um, yeah, it's something I'm sure he'll be really proud of. He was such a calm person, such a, an authoritative person and just somebody you really trusted to be honest and you know, he trusted his decision making, you trusted his decisions and he just trusted what he told you so you know, he just gave you confidence um, from his own personal being really. I mean, I'd known Walter for we played at Dundee United uh, together, so I'd known him for about 55 years. Oh, he was a standout guy, you know, in terms of how he focused on football and how he focused on individuals, how he worked at Dundee United with young players and improved young players, it was phenomenal. His um, man management skills are out of this world, I think that's that's the secret behind his success. Fantastic management board that was the second time he went back. He brought Coyste and Duran in his staff. So what he did, was doing was he bring that personality as the top players for Rangers that they would all say, oh, Duran, my You know what I mean? I'd put it, but I mean that. It was a great bit of management, it really was. Walter was like the beginning, like, like a father figure for me was a big influence for me as well to stay for this long period in Scotland. He raised standards any time he was here. He was the forefront of the club. He brought a lot of, lot of success and he made it. The DNA of this club is lifting trophies and I think Walter played a massive part in that. As a man, as a professional, you know, it was a hard, hard block. And it, but I knew I stood with him most of the time. But it was just a pleasure from that time when I see when I when I actually signed and I come in here and I sat there and got a well another time three years prior to that I said I want to play for him one day and I said it happened you know. You know he was a he was a marvelous marvelous man, um, very well respected like I said all over. He was humble. He was humble and he took defeat as well as as his victories as well. You could see he was upset but he never he never came out and um, you know caused a big problem you know with anything you know so it was just. He was just, he was just very, very cool about everything, you know. Walter was a man that was very generous with his time, and you know, we've spoken about his football achievements and what he achieved with Rangers on on the park. But his time and his charity work is something else that was really important to him. Um, I know he was deeply involved with the Emmy Smiley Foundation, the Rangers Charity Foundation. The, the statue will represent his legacy and everything he achieved. As, as a manager with, with the Rangers, but also as a man, and I think the charity work is something that was really important to him and also his family. He grew up a Rangers supporter, he, he stood in amongst them. I think they, they knew he obviously came from the East End of Glasgow and, and, and Carmyle as well, so he was a, a humble guy, you know, and he, he, I think he just felt as though he was, he was one, of the, one of the supporters himself. Yeah, I'm just delighted that, uh, you know, when you come in and you sit in this office, uh, you know that you have you know, a lot of people who have won a lot of trophies for Rangers have had handled the situation over the years um, as Rangers managers. That you have to be successful and uh, I can only feel very fortunate that I've been. People may forget what you said. People may indeed forget what you did. But people never forget how you made them feel. And I don't think I will ever forget what Walter did. And I don't think I'll ever forget what Walter said. But I can guarantee you, I will never, ever, ever forget how that man made us all feel.